Hello, welcome to Trojans Network. For this video, I'm going to show you how to build an Instagram bot using Python. And you need just three things for this project. You need the Firefox browser, a code editor, and internet connection. For the code editor, we'll be using Spider from the Anaconda Navigator. You can choose to use PyCharm or VS Code for this purpose. Now, the first thing we will need to do is install our necessary libraries. And in this case, we will just need um, one library. That's the Instapy library. Okay, so we can just open any Python terminal or any terminal we can use to install libraries. So I'll be using the Anaconda prompt for this purpose. Okay, so this is the command we use in installing the Instapy library. It's pip or pip install instapy and just hit enter. Okay, so I already have instapy installed in my system, so it returns requirements already satisfied. So you just go ahead and install instapy on your system. Now that you're done installing your library, you're good to go. We can now start building our Insta Instagram bot with Python. But first thing, you need to create your Insta you need to create your Python file. You can name it instagrambot.py. Okay, so before we start coding, I would like us to create some or make some fixes in the library we downloaded. Okay. The library the library we just installed i would like us to um, make some fixes okay so we just head on to the file location um, i mean this file location where you have the like underscore util okay so i have that in i have that in my local dixie users loss and that's my pc name the anaconda 3 lab site packages the instapy so in the instapy folder you would find this now what you have to do is just open it with a code editor and i'll do that with vs code so once it opens we will just head on to line 619 and make some changes there line 619 okay okay so line 619 i think it's over here okay so line 619 when you get to line 6 one, you're going to see a different code over there, okay? So what you have to do is make sure you have you change it to what I just highlighted. You just have to change the code you get at line 6 one, nine to what I've highlighted. You just have to make sure they are the same, okay? That's because Instapy um, came with some logical errors that you need to change. So you just have to make sure it's the same as what I have here, okay? Then we move on to line 6. Three four nine six three four. Okay, so line six three four. So what you have to do at line six three four is um delete delete this. Okay, so you have to delete these two lines. Okay, then yeah, then we are done. We are done fixing the box. Okay, so we just you can head on to your code editor so i have my python file over here so we can start to code so we already have our our library and it's already fixed so what we need to do is um import our library so from instapy import import instapy okay this way import instapy and we have a warning here because we've imported it and we've not used it okay so the library is imported but not used okay so we can just move on so after importing your instapy library you need to create a variable to store your username and your password okay so i'll create that variable right away so username which will take my username as a string so my username will go here okay so your username goes here Okay, then another variable called password. Okay, so password 
also a string you know, a password goes here so i'll be using my um instagram account for this project okay so i'm going to replace this and this my username and password respectively but for security reasons i want to do that now okay so after getting your username and password into a variable you create another variable to take your instapy operations that's the the library okay so um our bots would use the username and password provided to log in into your instagram account so create a variable called session and session is going to take your username and password using the instapy library so session equals instapy and so it takes two parameters it takes more but we'll be using two of the parameters that's username okay so username in this case will be equal to the username i specified over here okay so username equals username okay then we have password which is also another parameter you know, also equals the password i specified over here okay so i think okay it's a mistake with the spellings. <laughs> I didn't realize it. Okay, so password. Okay, then I would like to change this to this format. So password that way. So password equals password. Okay, then I think the underscore should go here. Okay, so this way. So a session is going to take your username and your password using the Instapy library. Okay, so for the next the next thing we should do is after taking the username and password we should log in. So that's done by session dot login. Okay, and it's a function. Okay. So after we take our session, we take our uh, username and password, sorry, we log in, okay. Okay, so before we continue, I would like to um, enter my username and password, and for security reasons, I'll be hiding that. Okay. Yeah, so I have my username and password up there in line two or three, and we will just continue from this line. Okay. So after having after logging in with our username and password, that's where the bot. After the bot logs in with the username and password what we need to do is perform some few operations for the sake of this video i would like to make the video short so for the sake of this video i'm just going to perform few operations i'll leave a link in my description so that you can have access to the list of things this bot can do okay the instagram bot you just have to access the site and have a look at it yourself so we can like follow comment and do a lot of things with the instagram bot okay so for this case i would just like to access someone's account then like then exit or log out of the account okay so session so session dot set underscore do underscore like okay so this is for liking a post okay and it's a boolean it's a boolean function so it takes um the value true and i have to specify the amount of um, people or amount of post it's going to um like okay so let, let that be 50 percent just 50 percent of the posts okay so session dot set uh underscore do underscore like is going to like 50 percent of the Post that I will specify. So on the next line, I have to specify the account or the uh, yeah the users I will I will interact with. So to interact with our users, we use this session dot interact interact underscore by underscore users. Okay, and to take the users that I would like to interact with, interact with. So in this case, um, I would just choose any celebrity 
and I will choose Walt Smith, okay, Walt Smith, and this has to be a string, so keep it in quotation marks because it's a string, okay, so I'll be interacting with Walt Smith, so his account will be the target for our bot. So the next thing we specify here is the amount of posts we should like or interact with. So amount equal to one. So we'll be, we'll be interacting with just one of his posts. Then we specify the randomize parameter. Sorry, randomize parameter and it's boolean so it takes true so this means that the bot should um, pick the post at random okay it's going to select a post at random that's what this means and also sp specify the media type okay the media type means you can interact with a video media or um, a photo media okay so the post can either be a video or a photo Okay, so in this case, let's make it a photo. Okay, yeah, so that's all. Now, after doing all this, we should log out the bot. Okay, so our bot is going to log out. So session dot end. So with this function, the bot will just log out of your account once it's done doing all this. Okay, so let's save it and um yeah, let's save it and run the code and see how it turns out. Okay, okay, so now our bot is in session, and in no time it should open the Firefox browser. Okay, so as you can see, the bot just opened the Firefox browser. And to it should log into my Instagram account using my username and password. Okay, so as you can see, yeah. So it's logging to my Instagram account using my username and password. Okay, so as you can see, it just logged in to my Instagram account. Okay, so every every action taking place here is being done by the bot. As you can see, he's leaving down data for you to know its operations. Okay, yeah. Okay, so the, this is my Instagram account. I should search for Will Smith's uh, account. Yeah, so the bot just search for Will Smith's account as you can see. Okay, so now what the bot should do is it should um, search for one of his posts on his Instagram account. So the bot is going to get um, his image list as you can see down there. And after getting the image list, it's going to um, select one at random. Then it will. Um, um, uh, after selecting one at random, it will like that image as we specified in our code. Yeah, so it's getting the image list right now. So once it's done getting the image list, it will um, select one image at random, then like it. So this might take a while. So let's wait for the bot to um, get Will Smith's image list. Yeah. Okay, so I think it's done getting the image list. So it will select one at random, one of his images at random. Okay, yeah, so it selected this image, and as you can see, it's not like yet. So the bot will like the image. Uh, yeah, so as you can see, the bot just liked the image. It's taken quite some time. Yeah, so that's how the Instapy library works. It works with time so that it won't look like a human being it won't look like a robot doing it okay or a bot doing it so when you look over here 
you can see that the boat has left reports of the, uh, the operations it took okay so it selected an image this right here then it liked the image okay so after liking the image it didn't comment so it wrote not commented right here then not following means we are not following the account okay then so that's the report the live report the bot left us so um that's how the instagram bot works okay so i'll leave uh i'll leave a link in my description so that you can have a, uh, access to the list of things that bots can perform okay yeah and one thing you should know about the instagram bot is that it's not supported by instagram okay so once instagram gets to know that you're using a bot on their site uh, your your account will be blocked okay so you should mind how you use the instagram bot you shouldn't be using it frequently okay because instagram will detect it um, detect that okay yeah so this brings us to the end of our video please like subscribe to this channel share this video let others see and expect more from this channel okay thank you for watching this video